Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Pokey Gems Art. Today we will be drawing the impossible bow tie. I'm going to give you guys the measurements, all the step by step tutorials here, guys. All right, but before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, please hit that subscribe. That way you guys won't miss out on any future art projects, future videos, or even the future live broadcasts that we do every evening. So make sure you turn on your notifications. All right, we're gonna start out by using pencil. Now I think it's really important in this one, basically almost impossible to not start out using pencil because there's a lot of erasing going on here. So what we're gonna do is first we're gonna make a basic rectangle. It will be 11 centimeters by eight centimeters. Now you can probably do this 11 inches by eight inches. I chose to do centimeters today just because it makes it a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to fit on the page, but definitely make sure it is a perfect rectangle. Guys, in this case, today's project is very important that the measurements are exactly as I gave them to you. All right, the next step is going to be, you're gonna measure off at one centimeter and at two centimeters, basically all around your entire rectangle. So on top, you're gonna to measure one centimeter and two centimeters. On the bottom, right side and left side, and then you'll do this on the sides also. So this is extremely important. And like I said, if you've used inches, then measure off one inch on either side. So later I'm gonna give you a piece of paper to show you all the measurements, that way you can pause it there. But this gives you an idea of why it's so important that today's project, you know, you really, really stick to those measurements. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're gonna connect some lines. So go ahead and slow down the video, connect these lines exactly like I'm doing it. So you're gonna connect from that top point to this point here. Then you're gonna continue on. And now it's extremely important that you connect these points exactly to the ones that I'm connecting. Because if you get one off, then it'll throw off the entire project. So it is very, very important that you stick to these connections exactly. So the way I did it here from the left to the right, you're gonna do the same thing here from the right to the left and you're gonna connect these same points exactly the way that I'm showing you right here, guys. All right, just one more connection here and then we're gonna be done with the horizontal connections. And then the vertical connections are very, very easy. You're basically going to connect straight down from this line to the other one centimeter line, from this line to the two centimeter line, and then the same thing on the other side. You're gonna connect these straight down just like this. And like I said, it is extremely important that you do use pencil here. Um, and actually, if you can, uh, I did it a little bit darker so that you guys can see it well but try doing these lines very, very lightly because there is a lot of erasing. All right, the last thing that we're gonna do on this particular one is we're going to connect the corners. So you're gonna connect it exactly like I'm doing here. And like I said, I did do it a little bit darker so that you guys can see it. It won't look as perfect at the end because there will be a lot of pencil left over, uh, but do it a little bit lighter just so it's easier for you to erase. Like I promised, here is a measurement, exact measurement, guys. So like I said, 11 by eight, these are the connections. This is where you should be at right now. All right, now we're going to start doing the erasing. So the first thing you're gonna erase is you're going to erase the corners, just like so. So basically where you made those corner lines, we, that is not needed there. And then you're gonna start erasing some of the inside. And I'm not gonna erase all of it because I want you to see how I'm doing this. But for example, on this one, you're gonna erase these two inside lines and then all of the inside lines of this particular section here and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna continue erasing just like so and then later we'll take out the marker and we'll do more with the uh, permanent marker so then again you will erase these lines here and feel free to pause the video at any moment just so you can see exactly where I've erased but this gives you kind of an idea of where I'm doing my erasing all right now we can take out our permanent marker because these parts that I'm going to mark here are going to stay exactly as they are. Now I'm especially not gonna speed up the video because this one is a little bit complicated. I want you guys to make sure to do it nice and slowly because if you mess even one of them up, it really changes the look of the entire impossible bow tie. Because the whole point of an impossible figure, and I'm sure you've watched other of my videos, I mean, go ahead and check out like this other video that's just uh, popping up there right now 
um, it shows you an, another impossible. I did the impossible circle, the impossible heart, the impossible triangle. And what makes these impossible is because you can draw them out on paper, but if you think about it, there is no way that these would be possible in an actual 3D format because of the way when you look at them, the way the lines intersect, this is what makes them impossible, so to speak. So please, when you get a chance, check out my other drawings and uh, I think you'll really enjoy the little impossible series. So keep going, keep connecting these exactly like I'm showing you here, guys. All right, that's basically it. Now what you'll do, and I sped it up really a lot here, is erase all of the rest of the pencil that's left over. So everything left over is not needed, and I think we're basically at the shape what we need. Now you can do some shading. You could do this in different colors. You can do this in colored pencil. I chose to do it with the uh, charcoal pencil here. Uh, I'm gonna do it a little bit darker in the edges and kind of working my way lighter, uh, just to kind of give it that effect, that illusion that it's really kind of spinning, that it is a 3D effect. So this is what I chose. Guys, you can use regular pencil for this. An absolute regular pencil works completely fine. You're just gonna smudge the pencil. It actually works really, really good. You can use colored pencils. I've seen this project done with different colors where that way you have kind of the blues and the reds intersecting. I would love to see your projects, guys. When you're done with this, please send me and direct message me either through TikTok, through Instagram, or whichever way. I would love to see how your projects turn out. And don't forget about our contest at the end of each month where I want you guys to send me in your projects so I can put them up in my art room. But this gives you a basic idea, guys. Please don't forget to hit subscribe. Uh, check me out on TikTok. I post there every single day. We post every day on Instagram. Guys, I also have a website, www.pokegems.com, where you can get your own personal swag. You can see kind of what's going on. And again, if you haven't done so, please hit subscribe. Turn on those notifications. Guys, check us out in the evenings, and I will definitely see you on that next video.